couple things I want to talk about. <laughs> no, we're not doing If you want to see it, you've probably already seen us get hit by this thing. I'm going to talk about why I think this is better than the baton. People know that I shit all over the baton and that I said this was better. I got accused that I was shilling because I make millions of dollars for recommending this thing yeah. and pretending that it hurts a lot. That'd be nice. And also some tactics. If you have a Stinger tactical whip or any kind of flexible weapon like that, some tactics for its use. They think that when I when I act like it hurt, yeah, that I'm doing it to sell more of these, and that that's why I say that this is better than like no, the con. That shit hurts. <laughs> Full disclaimer: If you use the discount code or click the link and buy anything from Stinger Tools, I get a commission. I could just as easily find a company that makes batons and work with them. Congrats on cracking the YouTube code. Yes, no duh. Yeah. When people affiliate link or give discount codes, they do make money. This is how we make a living. There's tons of shit in here that has been sent to us that I've never even mentioned to you and have not recommended. Yep. And just told the company, yeah, it's best if I don't do a video on it. <laughs> yep. I'm not gonna recommend stuff that I don't believe in. I don't believe in the baton. I don't think the baton is a very good self-defense tool. And I think that this does everything that people think the baton does, only I think it does it better. <laughs> it's a bad arm. Yeah, that <laughs> arm doesn't do anything. There we go. The baton does do one thing better than this does. One very specific thing. And it's doing Potentially lethal damage to a person that far away. This is it. This is the only thing it does. If I hit someone in the head that's that far away and exactly that far away, not further, not closer, right here, <laughs> the baton is awesome at hurting people or killing them. All right? But that's if somebody also isn't trying to... Yeah. It sucks at everything that. else. Yeah. It sucks at everything else. When you use this on non-lethal targets, looking at you, law enforcement, when you use it at the places that you're supposed to use it, it's not... It, it doesn't... It doesn't do anything. When we got the, the arguments, when I was like, I don't think the baton really works, the arguments we got back were like, yes, it does. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> that's not a really good yeah. argument. Yeah. Like... There's plenty of videos of they're, they're like beating the dudes and like nothing happens to the guy. Yes, if you take a metal rod and crack somebody over the head with it, people often countered with, you know, the, the club has been used throughout human history to bash people's brains in. I was like, exactly. Uh -huh. We're talking about a lethal force scenario. At this exact distance, the baton would be better. But how long are we going to stay at this distance? Uh -huh. You get one shot. After I make my one shot, guess what? The bad guy's gonna grab me. Now, inside that range, now I get grabbed. Yeah. Inside this range, he's grabbed my arms, maybe my wrist, whatever. Right here already, this is better than the baton. Right? <laughs> That's better. That's better. Just a look at the flick of the wrist. Woo yeah. <laughs> Boom. Great. You brained me. I'm dead or unconscious. You don't have to fight me anymore. But if you did anything else, if anything else happened, right? And we get a hold of this. This is a leverage point. Uh -huh. We get into this, like, I'm, I'm going to just trying to take, take it from it. you. Yep. And you could grab it and take it from me. Like, I can't... We get into a fight over it. Yeah, then you're focused we on We both that. got oh, leverage. Yeah. yeah, check this out. Besides that handle, if you grab this anywhere, if you manage to get your hand on this weapon, you do not have leverage to take it from me. Yep. You can't take... You can't disarm me. You can't take this thing from yep. me. Stab me with the pointy part. <laughs> and that's the other point. Yeah. In close range, let's say you don't have it, but you do have me, right? Uh, and I want to use this. Yes, you can pommel strike someone. That's that's a no-brainer, right? But only from a certain angle. Uh-huh. And if I'm... Right, yeah, I mean, some stuff's going to happen, yep. right? When we get tied up in the clinch, yes, I can pommel strike. Yes, you can dig this in. You can use it, right, as leverage or to increase your one common one we use. Give me a headlock. Right? One common thing we use is to use stuff to increase our, you know, leverage with that. But we've got all this, this big handle out here. If we end up in a standing clinch or wrestling match and I want to pummel for an underhook, I've got this all in the way of, of getting my underhook. With the Stinger Tactical Whip, it interferes a little. We're going to go super slow because this thing is very, very dangerous, this tip. Uh, if we have to wrestle and I need to pummel 
it's flexible, so I can pummel in and basically just ignore the whip part of it. And I can get my underhook, or if he throws on his headlock, I can move this around freely, pretty much, and at any point in the clinch, even if he gets uh, like double unders, like body lock, right? <laughs> you don't need to turn your hip to do damage with this. No. Right? As soon as you feel you like don't, hook, I'm letting go. You don't need. You don't need to, right? You don't need to, you know, do any kind of biomechanical transfer of power or whatever the sciencey nerds would say about it. If you have me yoked up pretty bad, I can I can hurt you. I'm not saying I can't hurt you. But I'm very limited in my options. I think that this does non-lethal, less than lethal. Deterrence, compliance, that sort of thing. I think this does it better than this. When it comes to potentially lethal, this does it better than every other distance except for this right here. The only place this shines is at lethal force at this exact distance. Yep. That's it. If you catch them, they're not. Yeah, which, well, that goes for anything. Yeah. But you're talking about an ideal scenario. Yeah. And what do we know about fighting? If a guy does manage to take me down, like you tackle me or whatever, some kind of thing, we end up on the ground. Now, this is, I'm not saying this is not a weapon that you can hurt somebody with, but I can't, if I don't have this underhook, right? Uh, maybe, or like this, right? Getting this underhook back would be tough. I'm mainly limited to, uh, you know, pommel strikes with it or using it to frame away. Now there's gonna be a bunch of guys that you're gonna talk about stick grappling and how like, there's like all kinds of like different ways you can like use the stick. Like, uh, it never happens. Like there's no- Cause I'm gonna be fighting while right? you're Right, it just like... never materializes. Yeah. With the, the Stinger Tactical Whip, if he manages to get me to the ground, right? Uh, this pommel is way deadlier than the other one. By a lot. And if I want this underhook, if I do, I smash, smash, I'm going super slow. Uh, people say, oh, you're going a little easier with this. This thing is dangerous. You know, boom, boom, boom. If I want an underhook, I can get an underhook. And I don't have to fight to pull that big stick through. I, I still am a little leery of using it and then facing the music after you use it. Uh -huh. And then saying like, you, you did what? Yeah. <laughs> you whipped the guy with a self-defense whip? Yeah. A hundred yeah. times? <laughs> I just thought I wouldn't want to be the test case, but I, I know that this would work. Mm -hmm. People know what it is. Mm -hmm. Like if you use this for either a use of force or a self-defense situation, like it has a history and that it's accepted, but I don't know why. I firmly believe that this weapon does lethal force better mm -hmm. at any range inside of this one. I agree. So. That's my argument for why I think the Stinger Tactical Whip is better than a baton. I'd said it before and some people were unclear about why I said that. You know, they thought, oh, because I'm making money or, you know, whatever. Uh, what's funny is on the baton video, yeah. whenever I get a comment, you could tell it was from a real cop. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, I just used it to scratch my back and knock on doors, yeah. you know. And all the guys commenting about how it's totally a really useful, less lethal or self-defense tool were... Not necessarily talking from experience. <laughs> now, if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts. Oh, and people complained that I menaced you and threatened you with it and I was treating you unfairly with yeah, it. Whatever. That's what he's it here for. happens, yeah. Yeah, that's what you're here for. Yeah. It's literally his job description. <laughs> you know what people said it was good for? What? Breaking glass. I'm like, why would I carry a whole weapon for the purpose of breaking glass? Yeah. I've broken lots of windows. I did it with all kinds of shit. I never didn't have something I could break a window with. And guess what? That's a glass breaking tip on there. Yeah. You know, you could break a window with a rock. You could kick a window open. You know, I've never been like, I don't know what I'm going to break this window with. And I didn't <laughs> ever carry a baton. Yep. I carried a tomahawk on my SWAT loadout, <laughs> but I wouldn't carry a baton. I broke windows. I, it was for breaking windows, not for yeah. chopping yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I used it to like, scalps. no, I, no, I used it to like break windows or like pull window frames and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was between him and the door yeah, yeah. and he came charging at me and I was like, no, yeah. no, wait till we get some more bodies to help. I was like, I'm not fighting that guy, yeah. you know, <laughs> sweaty in his underwear. Ugh.
Yeah, how are you going to grip on him then, huh? No, you can't. You yeah. can't wrestle a naked, sweaty guy. <laughs> can't fight a naked guy. Because yep. even if you win, you lose. You lose. <laughs> <laughs>